Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. The Four of Cups, is there some kind of discontentment, boredom, or um, to me, this is also another a card of illusions as well. It, it feels like there is a, a situation. Okay. Somebody has been waiting. The Three of Cups, I, I'm paying attention to the Three of Cups. Somebody has been waiting on an offer or an opportunity to celebrate, to unite or reunite with somebody. It feels like a person has been waiting though on the right opportunity to do this. The high priestess here. You could be a high priestess. You could be um on like of course obviously on your spiritual journey or walking away from a person or a situation. What's this? What's this? The ace of wands. Okay, so there is a passion new beginning that's coming here. Okay, the high priestess is still here. So something here is is very much spiritual. Oh, the high priest. Oh my. Mm. The high priestess, the chariot, the ace of cups, the sun, and the lovers. Somebody thought they had a person stuck. This queen of wands here, this Jezebel like energy. Somebody has constantly been ha leaving a person in this energy of feeling very defeated, but you have the Ten of Pentacles here. Somebody was able to put up the proper protection or barrier here to stop this interference. Now somebody is walking away from what doesn't serve them, and they're going towards this Divine Feminine energy. Somebody could be going towards a Divine Feminine, or this is just somebody who is tapping into their Feminine energy, whether they are male or female. This could be a masculine right now who has been in some type of distorted energy. They are tapping now into their actual Feminine energy, and it's going to allow them to receive. This person hasn't really been able to receive a passionate new beginning here because of feeling defeated when it comes to this queen of wands. This could be someone's ex. It could be a friend, a family member, whatever. Somebody could be struggling with like some kind of spiritual spouse or an entity, um, specifically like a Jezebel-like energy. But somebody now is choosing to go on a new path to really open up their heart and to allow something in. So whatever this offer is, it's coming in to a person and it's leading to a, a brand new passionate beginning here. This is really good. The moon card here, yeah. Somebody is tapping into their own intuition and, and something is being uncovered with the Ace of Pentacles. There's a brand new beginning here. King of Wands, this is a natural born leader, this person. So yeah, the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, this is somebody who could have an ex that was doing something to sabotage them or they have just a connection to someone. Like I said, it could be a friend, family member, or lover. It feels like two fire signs. So King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has been holding on, holding back, holding on to some kind of outdated beliefs or some or conditioning programming. Um, this person could be having issues with their finances or they were. Whatever this is, though, it's finally, I feel like it's coming to a close. Yeah, somebody's time. I just saw the hangman in the reverse. These delays are finally over with somebody. Somebody was really able to conquer some type of stronghold here. The King of Cups, Nine of Swords. I feel like somebody just, I'm here to say, I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Somebody's emotions have been so imbalanced or someone has just been out of touch with their own reality or their emotions for a long time here. The Temperance card, yeah, it's finally balancing out. Ten of Cups. Oh, this is so beautiful. Page of Cups. There's emotional fulfillment here. Somebody, there's a new a new beginning here that's coming in. And somebody is finally putting, putting these burdens down. Somebody's also like putting their pride aside. Someone is going through an awakening. And this awakening is allowing them to finally come out of this stuck, stagnant energy. Wow. So there is possibly a partnership or... Um, a new beginning when it comes to someone. Oh, no, this is a partnership. Someone's security and stability, a new beginning here. This is coming in. You can't make this up. The two of cups 
and the four of wands this could be a business partnership but for some of course it could be something romantic somebody has been stuck at a crossroads though because there's been some type of possible magic or manipulation that was done to have a person just stuck in their head somebody was able to get a hold of this though they they made a decision to go and actually focus on celebrating somebody had a person like they the four of cups is what we saw earlier this person they couldn't even see that it was something worthy of, of being celebrated right in front of them this person is now choosing to take their heart uh, this offer or whatever and they're moving on a peaceful calm waters this is exactly what somebody wanted this person to avoid doing though somebody didn't they didn't want a person to ever like move on Yeah, they didn't win though. Whoever this, yeah, the devil. The devil has been watching the person or whoever this is that somebody has been in this connection with, this nasty, unclean spirit, this Jezebel energy or whatever. Someone has, it has been illuminated who is who or what this, this demonic entity or whatever is and somebody now is moving forward. Mm. The Hierophant, the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here. There could be a um, a Taurus that has done something that was wrong, or this could just be a masculine right now. This person may be getting very, very close to God at this time, and I feel like this person was just like, God, I'm down bad. I'm down to my last. Like, I need you to come through and help me, and God answered this person's prayers for sure. The will of fortune is here. Yeah, this person is going. Somebody is taking action now. They're going towards the Ace of Pentacles. If you're a divine feminine watching this, you have a masculine. They're, they're coming in. This person is protecting you because they know that you are their wish fulfillment. This is absolutely something that is destined to be. It's meant to be. But this person had to stand up. They had to protect themselves from whatever this dark energy or entity is. It was something that had this person very um, stuck, caught, stagnant, like... This person was was very, very pessimistic. It was because something from something or someone from their past was still holding them back. Like I said, it could be a mindset. This person is now they're seeing the truth. Okay, this person somebody lied to someone about a Queen of Cups or was trying to make this person feel a certain way about a Queen of Cups so that they wouldn't take a leap of faith. It's whoever this 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 stronghold this. Um, possible Leo here or this Jezebel like energy. This has somebody in two minds about a situation about them giving, having equal give and take and being generous to a person. The Six of Cups is here. Yeah, this is drama from somebody's past that has had them like in survival mode, not sure which way to go. And it was causing a person that they could or should be connecting with to also be in some kind of mental entrapment. But obviously somebody with the Four of Swords now is choosing to heal. Somebody is receiving some kind of good news or they're about to take action to move in a different direction. The Knight of Wands is here. Exciting news here. The world, this cycle is over. It's something here has been purged out of a person's subconscious mind, out of their energy, so that they can have victory and success. It's been too many people watching and monitoring someone's connections or their life or something so, and, and trying to keep them out in the cold. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is working on taking an offer to a person. They're coming out of the cold. Yeah, Archangel Michael has come in with the Sword of Truth and Clarity. And it's helping someone sever ties and cords or something that was causing a lot of confusion and an illusion. Someone now is moving forward. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Somebody is now taking action. They've made a decision. The decision has been made. Justice is here. That they are indeed going to take their heart and whatever resources, finances, or plans that they have to somebody. This is a masculine here who is going through a major spiritual transformation. Beautiful. Love that. So let's see. What else is to come in this situation? Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You guys, I'm changing the styles of the readings up a little bit. <laughs> this reading, but I just did this in time. There was 10 minutes. So let me know if you like the short, shorter readings. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what you guys like <laughs> so I can make the necessary changes to the channel. Let's look and see um, what is the potential outcome in this situation. So we have the King of Wands here. 
So you have this masculine energy that's going through this transformation. Could be an Aries. This person could have Aries and or Scorpio in their chart. Aries, Scorpio, Libra could be in this person's chart. They could be um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The King of Wands is here. See, this person was with the Ten of Wands in the reverse. This person was like beating a dead horse. This person could not prioritize things. They didn't know what to do, where to go. Like I said, they were just beat down from something. This person now, the Fool card, they they get to have a, a, a new beginning. This person is embracing their spiritual journey now. And this could be you, of course. Because so you could be a you could be a, a female who's in masculine energy. This could be a, a man, whatever. But the King of Wands here, lots of Aries energy. This is definitely a divine masculine though. This person, it's like their um their power source. Some it, it almost feels like somebody had this person or you like bound. Somebody was trying to with that strength card that we keep seeing. Somebody like emasculating this person, trying to stop or block all of their success and their manifestations. This person was carrying a lot of burdens and they, they could not get out of it. But now something has come in with the fool. This person is taking a leap of faith. There's a brand new beginning here. You have the nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody, this queen of swords, this person, somebody felt like this masculine was not deserving of happiness or wish fulfillment. Somebody's like, you don't deserve to be happy. This is somebody's ex, like an ex-lover or somebody. Yeah, a page of wands here. This person was waiting on good news. Like, I feel like this is somebody who kept seven of pentacles, just constantly working, working, investing in things, like very uncertain about what is to come, but still putting the work in, making a lot of long-term um, investments. But the page of wands here, this person is going to receive good news. Like, someone is going to actually... reap like the benefits and the rewards of all of the good seeds that they've sown. The Six of Cups here. It's like somebody is finally going to go back to being like childlike. This Six of Cups as this person's, as their blessing starts to come in, they're going to get back comfortable with themselves before they ran into this nasty Jezebel-like energy that caused them all of this stress, fear, and anxiety. Yeah, the Ten of Cups is here. The Page of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. And then the Sun. The Ten of Swords. Five of Wands. This is the end of this conflict. Because somebody knows the truth now. There's there's not going to be any more anxiety. No more sleepless nights. Um, no more worrying about the past. Somebody, somebody has finally gotten the truth and the clarity about a person or a situation in their life that they need. Somebody is, they're finally closing this chapter, the Ten of Cups is here, the Page of Cups. There's like so much emotional fulfillment. It feels like too, like somebody, even if, if an offer was coming towards this person or coming towards you, you couldn't even recognize it. This person was so weighed down with whatever these burdens were that it's like love could be smacking this person in the face and they wouldn't even recognize it. But see, the Six of Cups, Page of Cups, they're going back. It's like going back to square one. They're going back to remembering love before being scorned the four of pentacles yeah this person is letting go of something that has been like holding them back emotionally whatever this emotional scar is that was holding this person it's like it was blocking their finances it was blocking love it was blocking friends family it was blocking everything but you have the ace of pentacles here and the sun so once again the seven of pentacles here this person has definitely been planting good seeds but it's possible that someone was planting a lot of good seeds just in the wrong soil the, the soil now, the seeds, it has the perfect amount of water, the perfect amount of sun. Everything is good. And this type of light with the sun here, it's it's literally, it's um destroying all of the conflict, the chaos, the competition, the drama, the jealousy, the envy, the ten of swords, the backstabbing, the betrayals, feeling like, like you're at rock bottom or whatever. That's over with the ace of swords being here. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Like I said, the King of Pentacles, somebody has been crying out to God, please help me, please help me. And what's coming in now is a very loving, caring, nurturing connection. The Queen of Cups here, the lovers, the will of fortune. Yeah, and this Queen of Wands person here, this person is going to be left feeling very, very defeated. 
because they, they failed. They failed in trying to turn this um, Hierophant's life upside down. This is a very wise person here, a very loving, caring, kind, passionate person that's full of love, full of light. Somebody was trying to turn this person's life completely upside down. They wanted this masculine for sure to isolate themselves, to make a, a lot of bad decisions, to be stuck and stagnant. Uh, to be completely honest, there's a queen of wands out here who hacks somebody. This, this woman hexed this man bad. King of Swords. And finally now, it's like Archangel Michael has had to come in and help this person to free themselves to walk away. And now this person, they're going to be able to actually see this divine feminine who they probably have been remaining detached from or even rejecting. Because it's like Spirit was like, this really is about to end up being a missed opportunity. It, it's, I'm here to like, get in there now. <laughs> it's like revive this situation now because... This was about to be a huge missed opportunity because of what somebody was doing in the background. Wow. Like literally, God, the angels, they, they hopped on this situation to make sure that something was turned around. Because it's like something here. Th this has to be like, I'm telling you, it could be a person, but this person is operating out of like the energy of a, a real demonic like spirit. Definitely could be like Jezebel, but this... Whoever this person is, this energy, this entity has created so much chaos and conflict. And this was to control a person. Somebody here is called and has been anointed and appointed to be like a husband, a wife, a business person, a leader, a great parent. And literally, there's a spirit here that has been weighing somebody down like a huge python or you know, some people talk about like the Leviathan spirit. It was to make sure that this person did not come into their own, like this awakening of who they actually are. But this person now is the King of Cups. This person, they, they've they been cool, calm, and collected throughout all of the, the financial hardship, the spiritual warfare, and everything else. This person still remained very balanced. The Knight of Swords, this person was intelligent. They knew not, this is the kind of person, like they didn't, they didn't fight back. I mean, they were trying to fight back spiritually, but this is not somebody that went and was like, you know, tit for tat. The temper. Somebody here just allowed God and the angels to come in and fight this battle for them. The two of wands. And the whole time they were making plans to go towards the queen of pentacles, to go towards somebody who was generous, to go towards a person who was loving, caring, kind, um, practical. Someone who was warm and loving. And so here, this person is actually manifesting the four of wands. There's a really dark, like, high priestess out here. You have the high priestess, the three of cups, in the reverse, the devil, and the three of pentacles. So you have, this is like a coven of some sort here. These people were trying very hard to make a connection very difficult for a feminine and, and masculine to come together. There is somebody out here definitely embodies the energy of a high priestess, but they're connected to the devil. And that the three of pentacles and the three of cups, whatever this high priestess was doing with working with the devil or these dark energies or entities or whatever, they're not going to have the celebration that they wanted. This person thought they were going to celebrate by putting this emperor's new beginning to rest. The four of swords here. This emperor was able to heal and to recover from whatever they did. So now the world, the cycle is over and the ace of wands, someone has a brand new beginning. This is so, so, so good. Yep. This witch didn't win this time. This Whoever has been doing this, though, they've done it repeatedly. They really have. Page of Pentacles, yeah. Seven of Swords, and here you have it. The Strength card. Whoever has done this, they have repeatedly kept somebody out of a relationship. But not this time. This person, they woke up out of this illusion and they put an end to this. The tower here, something has been purged out of someone's energy. There is an inevitable ending here. And it's like spirits coming in and saying, I will do whatever I have to do to get these people out of your energy in order for you to have victory and success. Whoever this person is, I'm telling you, they were, they were crying out to God like, please help me. Please, please God help me. Let's see. I don't even know what else to say. I have, I 
I have to just keep saying y'all remind me. Tell me how you like this reading. <laughs> because listen, I'm I'm doing my own um mark like market research. <laughs> tell me what you like. Tell me what you like. <laughs> this is my way of, of like surveying the uh, the collector here. <laughs> my readings are normally long. I'm, I'm gonna try to see how do we like these shorter readings. Very short to the point. Higher power. Mm. Somebody has aligned themselves with their higher self. They, yeah, birth. Oh, business. Look at this. Local travel potential. So somebody has aligned themselves. There's a rebirth here. There's a new opportunity for a person. Someone here has always had a lot of potential. This person now is about to level up. Like, there's a new opportunity. This could be a business opportunity. Wow. Somebody literally, all their blessings are coming back. Like, tenfold, anger, leadership. Somebody is angry because this person is about to be in a, a position of leadership. This could be a leader, too, who feels wrong that a person is doing very well. Or, yeah, like somebody here, this is jealousy and envy. Like somebody is upset because somebody is stepping into a leadership role or because a person really knows their self-worth and value and wasn't willing to let somebody take advantage of them or whatever. This is this is a, a, a really power-hungry part. This is Jezebel energy. This person is all about me, 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 power, power. I rule everything. I control everything. And when this person lost control, perhaps of a situation and realized that they couldn't control, this is an extremely narcissistic um, person. When someone here realized that a person was stepping into their own like new venture um, leadership role, really tapping into their own potential and they couldn't dictate and control this person, somebody here went out on the deep end and they probably did some kind of hate or, or curse or tried to like blackball a person in their um like in the work in in work or you know trying to ruin someone's reputation in the community like something crazy but abundance is here yeah serendipity divine intervention divine intervention like everything happens for a reason somebody i'm telling you all i've been getting lately is literally these people who are enemies god is using these people like thank you because all you did was show just how ugly of a spirit a soul that you truly have you clear the space. You clear the path. Yeah, here's the key. Opening doors to a better future. It says access to what was always hidden. Wow. Access to previously closed doors. And before I saw the key card. Yeah, somebody here was a hidden enemy. They were always jealous. They were always being two-faced. They had bad intentions. This is somebody who, for a lot of people, someone had possibly a lover or a friend who was always secretly jealous and envious of this person or you. Yeah, boundaries. And I feel like as soon as somebody chose to put boundaries up in this situation, this karmic cycle ended. Somebody could have, someone is just on a spiritual awakening. And this was a painful sacrifice because somebody knows now they're like, yeah. I know that this person is not for me. Somebody finally got the answer. They got the truth. Like, I know this person is no good for me. This is somebody that a person could have been dating. This is this woman is someone who possibly has money and has tried to really emasculate a masculine. Like this person is like, you know, if you don't want to date me or you don't do what I, I want you to do or what I say, this person was using divination. What did I say? The, a snake. This person was using divination, spying, hacking, or whatever. This person was very jealous and envious of someone's new beginning. This is a woman who is angry because she cannot get her way with a man. Or this is a man angry with a woman. He can't dictate and control this woman who is very powerful, who is a leader. So he's been a snake. He's been paying for a person to look into someone's life, especially their dating life. To destroy them. If this is a woman though. This is an ex-lover of a masculine. This woman has been looking like in this crystal ball. 
um, doing black magic or whatever to, or paying for it to look into the life, even of the woman that this masculine has been dating. And I feel like this masculine is dating a divine feminine probably, or is about to, who is actually very abundant. Everything that has happened in this situation, it was meant to happen this way. I know it has been probably very difficult, but literally God is saying that you're going to have access to doors that were not open before. You're getting the keys to a much better future. You just need us to know the truth about this situation. Has somebody not ever gone through this? They might not have ever realized that this was a real snake or that black magic or things like that even existed. This whole situation was necessary for somebody to understand like death and true transformation. Because somebody here was actually doing like death magic. They were, they were paying for spell work or doing spell work to see who somebody was dating or, or what new offers or opportunities they had. And they were purposely going into the spirit. Look, third party, purposely going into the spirit trying to put a death to everything that this masculine was doing. Because this masculine has a soulmate. Yeah, you've possibly been waiting on this person. This, this situation has been testing you because there's a lot of chaos here. But again, it was necessary because with this type of chaos and conflict and confusion, this is what will force a person into a spiritual awakening, whether they're ready or not. This is for somebody to do extremely deep shadow work to get to the source of this problem. Somebody has taken so many losses and experienced so much failure that they were forced to do some very, very deep shadow work. And it has taught them also too about witchcraft, about magic, about spell work. This is a very hard lesson for somebody to, to learn, but this was what was necessary for somebody to let go of the past and, and bridge the gap and to actually go into another phase of life where they now are manifesting like true wish fulfillment. Somebody's dreams are becoming their reality. Like somebody's manifestations are very close now because they found they finally found out who or what the snake was in their life. Good, good, good. Look at this warm embrace and proposal somebody is about to start warming up to a connection if somebody was very closed off emotionally that's about to change because somebody out here has not been able to trust anyone somebody is like i keep on um, and you you guys know how it is because i know i experience i still experience it where it's like you've gone through so much trauma that no matter who's around you you don't trust anybody because if you keep on experiencing somebody doing death magic every time you have a new offer or opportunity it's sabotage. Somebody had to figure out like through a lot of heartbreak, failure, isolation, where is the where is the head of this snake at? And now somebody's going to finally be able to kind of rest and breathe because even if you are if this is you or you are connected to this person, this person was kind of giving you the side eye too. Because they've been trying to figure out are you the one doing this? Somebody knows that there is a witch, wizard, warlock somewhere that's doing something. They just didn't know where it was coming from. And if you are connecting with somebody, of course, if you're the main person that's around them, somebody has been looking at you like, is it you that's doing this? No, it was somebody in the background from their past or from your past. So this person, they probably haven't been there warm or inviting. Like before, we saw the Four of Cups. This person has been so confused. Like, they're like, I have to get to the bottom of where this illusion is coming from. This illusion could have been coming from a person that's a cancer. Somebody's like, I have to get to the root of this. There's too much confusion. Every time this person makes a decision to move forward or to travel, they run into a bunch of confusing um, energy, a lot of conflict, chaos, drama, or whatever. They're like, I have to figure out where this is coming from. And so this person has probably been even a little bit cold towards you because they didn't know, or this is you. You've been at times a little standoffish from a person that you really have an, an interest or an attraction to because you just did not look at that clarity. Wow. So somebody finally, they got clarity. Somebody finally sees the truth. It feels like somebody here has been experimenting. Like right? there's been a process of elimination. Somebody's like, hmm, I noticed that when I tell this person something, things fall apart. I noticed that when I don't tell such and such something, 
things seem to go well. I notice, you know, if I sleep with this person, something happens. I notice, you know, like somebody has been really doing the work to figure out how exactly can they stop this this attack from happening. Explore, yeah, have faith. It, it's been difficult for some of you to come into some kind of agreement, clarity, or union with the person. Yeah, because it was somebody here who was no good. Watch out. There, this is a warning message. Somebody here is upset. Somebody could have had a phone call with the person, an ex. Somebody could have talked to an ex. And they could have had a conversation like, yeah, you know, things didn't work out. Whatever, whatever. they, You know how people have a conversation like, let's take accountability for things. It didn't work out. I wish you the best, whatever. This person was just like, wow, so you're really done? It feels like this, this really mean-spirited individual was like, okay, if I come in and I apologize and take accountability, then that means you should come back. But because somebody didn't choose to go back, because somebody has already to start started exploring new things for themselves, whether it's them being single or with somebody else, this person was like, wait, so it's like, okay, I came, I apologized to you and took accountability for the fact that we didn't work out and you're not coming back. This person like went crazy and, and just started to uh, like sabotage somebody because somebody could have told them, I'm, I'm actually exploring a new connection. I'm getting to know somebody. Thank you for the phone call. Like, I appreciate you saying you're sorry for everything that you did or didn't do. But I've, I've met somebody and this person has met someone that is helping them go through a spiritual awakening. Yeah, they're starting a new chapter with somebody. And they're like, this is the best part for me. I love this person. They're falling in love. And somebody is like, what? Wow, somebody's falling in love or has fallen in love with the person they're going to have a divine union with. Yeah, proposal. Somebody, this is, somebody's ex is pissed. They're like, wait, <laughs> I came in. I apologize. I put my heart on the line. I, I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never say I'm sorry. And you have the, the nerve, you have the audacity of you to go and be in another relationship. Like you don't want to come back crawling to me. That's this person's energy. Like very selfish, mean, rude, nasty, and enti entitled. This is a very toxic person. Ugh. It's a nasty energy, whether it's a male or female. And this person, whether it's a male or female, they carry the, sp the spirit of Jezebel. Yeah, first time. Some of you, if you've even, oh, come on, spirit. I love this. Proposal, partnership, and power couple? Uh, what? Come on. It's like this person could be in your life, but it's going to feel like the first time. For some of you, it's really going to feel like you and someone, okay, there's unexpected news coming. Somebody could be getting good news about their money and finances. There's going to be a lot of um, reciprocal energy here because this person, there's been death magic here. This emperor probably was struggling financially and everything because of this toxic person. Some, there's, there's about to be a major shift here. Major. Oh God! Bottom of the deck, happily ever after. Oh, so so the karmic is gone. Like the, the karmic, the snake has been cut. For some of you, if this is a connection that you've already been in, it's gonna start feeling like the first time. Because what's gonna happen now is this person they're about to become very intentional. The drama, the lies, the deception, the confusion is no longer there. Like God is working something out in this situation so that I'm telling you all of the, the drama, the the illusions, all of that is, is over. It's all over. So this is going to allow a person to think clearly. Like, you know, do I want to be with this person? Do I want to pursue this? Because somebody, somebody has been held, like, stuck, not understanding why, like, why isn't something moving forward? Why am I having these money and financial issues? Why does it always feel like there's a secret? Why does it always feel like somebody is watching or monitoring me? It's because that's what was happening. I don't know what this person did. This definitely feels like some kind of spell work, though. Somebody had a way to really watch a mark. I don't know if a person is reading or, or watching tarot. 
nonstop. But this is more than tear off. This is more. That crystal ball I saw earlier with the, the money, somebody paid for some real root work to be done. And this was death magic. It's like everything this person touches that should turn to gold, turn into crap. Is what that's that's what this person was petitioning. I don't want this person to have any success. Like it's, whoever this controlling female is, it's like they're gonna dictate and control this masculine because they're in, or it's like if these two people didn't come together and have a conversation, it's like this part. No, it, it was there was a conversation or this is somebody when things ended, they had a conversation. And maybe somebody took accountability or somebody didn't. Whatever the case is, somebody broke up with a person on bad terms. On not the best of terms. And the person went and did spell work. And it has been affecting this masculine for a long time. And if you've met this masculine on their, on their journey, the both of you are going through a spiritual awakening. But you're like the best thing that has happened to this person. They're, they've fallen in love with you. But there's this with this um, spell work or entity or whatever has been causing an issue here. It's finally like leaving. You're going to, I'm telling you, it's going to be like having a brand new relationship. This person is going to start coming off to you like a new person. You're going to be like, it's going to be brand new because you're going to finally be able to rest. It, you and this person... There is nothing, I don't feel like there's a problem here. Even in the reading with two, three decks, you're not seeing like infidelity. The problem has been this spell or this hex, this curse, this monitoring like spirit. This person isn't doing anything to you. You're not doing anything to them. What's happening though is there's so much paranoia and confusion. It, it's hard for this person to trust. Somebody was traumatized by somebody. Like I said, this could be you or this person or both of you have gone through something very similar. Yeah, somebody is always was in denial or like unavailable. You're like, this person is so emotionally unavailable. It's because this spell work has this person in denial about who you are. Or this is what somebody was doing to you. And I just did a reading of <sighs> Twin Flame, see? I just did a reading where I said somebody had done like a hex of curse to put some type of cloak over a person so that they could never be seen as like a divine feminine or divine masculine because somebody wanted to keep holding on to their energy. Just did not want Leah. Yeah, somebody someone somebody went in the spirit and tried to bind somebody else some kind of way. Past life love. This is a hundred percent like a twin flame connection. Soulmate. Twin flame soulmate. Whatever. It doesn't matter the title. It's something here that's it's good. It's good for you. It's good for the soul. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Some of you have been taking time out. Or that's what this person did. And they realized where this interference was coming from. And now they've made a decision. They want to give this a second chance. Somebody did something so that whoever you are or your person is, they wanted both of you to be unavailable for new love. Somebody's like, you're never going to be with anybody. That, that was, I'm telling you, that was the whole thing. It's like, you are never going to be with, if you're not with me, you're never going to be with anybody. And if you are with somebody, I'm going to, I'm going to destroy the connection. That's what, that's what this person wanted. All because they feel regret for how they treated you and they're, they're longing for you because you released them. <laughs> you release this person, focus on yourself. And decided to set up boundaries because you truly love yourself and you wanted to attract true love. Yeah, there's a destined partnership here. And you've learned a spiritual lesson. You've been able to, to literally take down a snake. This is Jezebel, some type of demonic, nasty type of energy. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do the guiding light oracle and then I'm going to be done. This is so good. So good. Y'all remember this song, Destiny Child, so good? That's what I'm hearing. You're Destiny Child. <laughs> and you're doing so good. This is for the haters. This is for the haters. They said we wouldn't make it. Now we're doing platinum and now we can't take it.
the challenger. It says your relationships could be challenging you in a very painful way. Mm -hmm. Kindred souls, you are currently experiencing many changes in your relationships and friendships. Haters, they really being exposed, all of them. Healing cocoon of light. Your angels come to you now and surround you in a healing cocoon made of light. Re-evaluation. It is time to re-evaluate your present circumstances and begin to make changes where changes are needed. I'm somebody is changing up their friend circles. Empathic overload. It is time for you to truly honor your highly sensitive nature. I'm somebody's going through a spiritual awakening. Soul contracts. Before you were born, you agreed to partake in, ex in specific experiences that assist in the evolution of your soul. Yeah, someone is realizing now that there's a counterfeit here. <laughs> there, there was a real counterfeit. Little clingy. Somebody just does not want to let go. And this is a woman. This is a mean-spirited. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> This this is a kind of masculine. This person is so laid back and chill. This person is this person with the dog, like they care a lot about loyalty. Like this is the kind of person they're willing to compromise. They're willing to make it work. And this crazy person, feminine energy is just like whew, a piece of work. Somebody loves you. It's gonna become easier for you and a person to say things like I love you. This person is so <laughs> distraught and traumatized by this crazy person from their past. I feel like it doesn't matter how long you've known this person, you still haven't even seen like the real version of them. Oh look. Quality time. Quality time. And is it safe for you to love? Yeah, this person is they're getting back their money. Somebody put a hex on this person's money. They're getting it back. They're, this person is about to experience, have a lot of blessings. Look, car, karmic partner. Expect a call. A karmic partner is coming forward. This person is somewhere that they've been trying to get back in, and they can't. This masculine has already found their counterpart. Or this is you, feminine. You already found your divine masculine. You have Earth out here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Compromise. So you could be an earth sign or an earth sign who wants to compromise or make something work with you. It's a very fast moving energy. Complicated. Somebody was not seeing something clearly. Somebody is obsessed. So there could be, a, I feel like there's an earth sign that's been stalking somebody obsessively. Soulmate, divine connection here. Family, children, home. Here's this old crazy lady again. She's, a, she's deceptive. She betrayed somebody. Now she's looking at a, a situation differently. So, you know, this is like, oh, um, somebody has seen the person have a better life and master themselves. And now they're like, oh, yeah, I think I want to, I think I want to go back. Tries to come back or go back. Didn't work. And, and they, they lost it. <laughs> yeah. And, and spirit allowed you or this person to kind of experience this, this, the heat from this situation, it was so that you could master yourself. And it's going to make you really, really appreciate your twin flame so much more. Somebody's twin flame has been there in their life while they've been going through this. This is, it's truly like a dream come true for somebody. It's worth the wait. Because no matter if this was happening directly to you or your person, the fact that you both had to experience it. It was a time of great enlightenment for both of you. So it's going to make you both stronger in the end. And if somebody, you know, because <laughs> this, this isn't even a thing about forgiveness. I'm not, there's nothing wrong with you and this person. And this is not everyone's story. This is, there's not an issue with you and this person. Your connection literally has been suffering just because of a third party interference. 